Yo la! What's up, Matt here. Welcome to another sesh on the artist's way. All right, let's throw it back to when we were just tiny little people, just discovering how to create something from nothing. I remember in kindergarten when we learned how to mix colors together. Oh my goodness, I was so excited to show my parents how to create the color green by mixing blue and yellow. It was so magical to me and still is. <laughs> All that to say, what, like what's the first thing that we do when we create something and get that magical feeling? We want to share it. And what do we do when someone shares something with us? Well, we tell them what we think. This is criticism. Now, reflecting on our session from yesterday on shame and how poisonous that can be in our creative recovery, Julia follows that up with saying, let me be clear. Not all criticism is shaming. In fact, even the most severe criticism, when it fairly hits the mark, is apt to be greeted by an internal, aha! If it shows the artist a new and valid path for work. The criticism that damages is which disparages is that which disparages, dismisses, ridicules, or condemns. It is frequently vicious, but vague and difficult to refute. This is the criticism that damages. So as artists, we must learn when and where criticism is appropriate. So we're going to explore that today after this 10 second sponsor from our morning pages. Okay. So we will inevitably get hit with criticism that is just flat out no good, even from a well-meaning friend at times. So this is where our mindfulness training comes in. It is in the eye of that critical storm when we can take the seat of awareness, notice this criticism, how it makes us feel, inspired or shamed. And if we feel inspired, wonderful. Thank you, critic, for showing me my next steps. If we feel shamed, let's roll up our sleeves a bit and practice creating a safe internal environment that protects our artist child from that unserving shame. Julia shares that the antidote for shame is self-love and self-praise. And sometimes this is much easier after the fact when we can reflect on the abusive criticism and then heal from it. And our morning pages are a great place to do this reflective healing. So we're going to play with this more tomorrow since it's such an important aspect to our creative recovery. So enjoy the reading for the today. Enjoy the creative exercise where we take a look at our habits that we've adopted that perhaps were based on someone else's shaming or ill criticism. And like triple high five for just doing this work. I know that looking at shame and criticism isn't always the most enjoyable, but the freedom to be found on the other side is well worth it. So hold the vision, trust the process. Thank you so much for doing this work. It is so important and I am honored to do this with you. So definitely drop me a comment below if you are inspired and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Love, namaste.